that's a, that's the greatest hat. That's the greatest hat. You think that's, that's a, great. look, look what Colin's wearing. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a Chippendale. Exact words that I said to him this morning. <laughs> <laughs> He's dancing. Let him, I want to see him dance. Yeah, we're smack in the middle of our uh, morning. All right. Well, you said that we have to go on and uh, and give people something that they can talk about for the upcoming uh, show next week. No, I said create an event, create an event that they can share like last time. Oh, I misunderstood. Yeah, create an event that has a title. They can share it with their friends, and then they can all come and be part of the audience Wednesday. That's what I said. Oh, I misunderstood. But if I hadn't, if I hadn't set up this live stream, you wouldn't got to see Colin dance. So, right. Um, so I want to get your thoughts. I want to get your thoughts on the uh, the uh, starving comics show. Tell me, tell me what you thought. <clears throat> What we need to, what we need to keep, and what we need to throw away. One of each. We need to keep what we need to throw away. Well, uh, you can. Besides keep- Bob Smiley, we need to throw Bob Smiley away. Well, I was going to say you need to throw away his laptop or whatever was making the whirring noise. Right. Uh, get one that's a little higher, so his head's not cut off in the middle. Um, what if we can- lower his head? He can do that. If we uh, flatten the top of Bob Smiley's head by about three inches, then it'll fit perfect. I feel like that might be more expensive, but <laughs> um, but yeah, you can keep your your game segment, your weird little let's play a game segment. And I have another game scheduled for this coming week. That's different. Okay. As as popular as toilet paper Rorschach was. Uh, and I had several people tell me that it was inspired. Inspired, Pete. Uh, it's the eleven thirty a.m. at the McKinney House. Yeah, this is the this is the peaches, you guys. For those of you who listen to the podcast and want to know what the peaches looks like, this is what it looks like. This is normally what you just hear. This is the. This is the audio that you normally hear, and you're getting to see what the source of that audio is. There's... <laughs> right. Silas is... Uh... And that's the thing is that Marcy's not even there. Um... Now, I can't see the chat. I can't see the uh, comments like you could on my laptop. You can't? Uh, Sam Guacamole, can you see that? Says I hi. I see that. Can you see? And can you see that he said, no. Yes, because you pulled it up on the screen. But there was like a right. little, there was like a. And Justin McDowell says, wide angle camera turned sideways. I don't that's, know what that means. That's cryptic, but interesting. <laughs> I'm just um, holding my phone up because, again, I was doing school and you sent me a link and I said, am I supposed to look at this link now? And I thought maybe you were going to be, you were testing it in the, uh, super secret page that nobody has um well i thought we might go live on that one so that we could see if there was a way for me to manipulate the comments without being in the live stream right but but look at this look what katie said can we do a live interactive podcast yeah we Mm. can sometimes sometimes when i have more than 30 seconds to prepare Mm. for it when school's done tell katie who suggested that a couple of days ago. You did. I said, this is what I said. I said, the podcast is a different feel because because people can't interact. What you said was then you wanted to, we can do a podcast-esque thing this way, but you then wanted to publish whatever we recorded as just audio. And I said, you were going to miss a bunch of the stuff. The whole point of this is being able to talk back to Carl. All, all I remember is that you were very discouraging. 
Right. Well, I said it would be fine to do it, but that like if you then wanted to post it for people who were only listening, that they were going to miss out on like being able to see the comments, being able to see sure. Silas bash sure. me in the nose with a skull, all that. Right. But all, all I remember is that you were very hurtful and that I was enthusiastic and uh, and childlike in my enthusiasm and whimsy and you crushed it. OK, that's what I remember. And it turns out that Katie is uh, is all about that. Look at this. Here's what Angel says. We should always get video. Love seeing your shiny faces. So she's making a comment about how you don't have makeup on. I said that for subscribers, we could do something like this. What I said to you was there's no reason we couldn't do both because there's no shortage of conversation and there's no shortage of uh, time right now. But I didn't know you were going to do it at 1130 in the morning on a Friday. I didn't know either. That's <laughs> one of the things that makes me so compelling and interesting is that I just, uh, you never know what I'm going to do. That's one of the things that everybody likes about me. Everybody except my family. Mm -hmm. Everybody except my loved ones. Uh, now, here's the deal. The, the, uh, the Peaches is, uh, uh, is, a, is a major influence in my comedy career. This is the person who you talk to when you call and book shows. Back when that was not illegal. If you call now, now, you're the person who you talk to when you want to cancel your show or reschedule your show. <laughs> right. That's me. Right. So if you kind of if you want to you want to shut down a show in this pandemic, you call the peaches and you say, "Hey, we're not gonna we're not gonna have John fly out." Um, the peaches is the person that you call if you want to fly me to the wrong city. Right. If you have already flown. If you've already flown me to the wrong, the wrong city. city, you call and go, what should we do now? <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's, uh, here's another thing that Sean, Sean listens to the podcast, apparently based upon past podcasts, it won't be pants optional. For I the actually, kids. As soon as I clicked, <laughs> as soon as I clicked and realized we were going live, I did a quick look like, is everybody dressed? <laughs> barely in Colin's case, they're barely dressed. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of nudity on the podcast, but it's audio. So it's, it's okay. Uh, that would, that is a factor. That is a thing that we would, that I would have to consider. Right. Um, but, uh, all right. So what we're, what we're trying to do is, uh, figure out what we're going to do going forward. We did, we did the starving comics, uh, quarantine show on Wednesday and it went really well, I think. Um, but we had a couple of things that were suggested that we should do differently. One of them was, not have the big kitty children on. Right. Uh, right. Who is I it? Don't know. It's Silas and Emery. Hey guys, what's what's the is problem? Em is Emery dressed? We haven't seen her yet today. I will say there, she, there she is. <laughs> Look at her hair. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's what I expected to see, actually. <laughs> That's what I expected. If her hair, if her hair had looked anything other than that, if it had looked neater than that, I would have been shocked. Yeah. Um, she's got, she's got a lot of hair. That's pretty standard Emery hair. Um, all right. So uh, is Wednesday's show. Look, is Wednesday. Oh, I love your vacuum joke. That's not what I meant to do. Thank you. That's not what I meant to say. Uh, Wednesday's show available to watch. Is Wednesday's show available to watch? Yes, it is. You can yeah. go to YouTube and you can go to uh, my Facebook page and you can still see Wednesday's show. Um, no I don't know how long those stay up. They, they'll be up forever, I think. It's up forever. Nothing is forever, Pete. If you check the videos, if you go on your fan page to the videos uh, file or whatever, the tab, then it should be in there an hour and yeah. a half. Um, and I think the PayPal link is still available, which of course is the important part when you're a starving comic. Yeah, that's the part I kept forgetting to announce too. I was supposed to hit that really hard. That's the reason that we have Bob Smiley on the podcast because Bob, Bob Smiley is a shameless self promoter and, uh, and he, he never forgets to ask for donations or to encourage people to go and buy his stuff. So we'll keep him for that. So, uh, the other, the other thing that I want to encourage everybody who, who uh, is thinking about being on the show is we're making it. Okay. Okay. Charity Lane just said, ding. 
So what does that mean? Okay. Oh, I think they ding whenever you plug. I think that it's the it's something that they say when every time you mention your website or your or uh, PayPal or whatever. Every time you self promote, I think they ding. Is that what it means, you guys? Is that when so when you say ding, are you acknowledging a self promotion? Somebody tell me in the comment section if that's what it is. Um, Charity, tell us. <laughs> ding is only for Bob Smiley. Oh. Uh, it's only for Bob Smiley. Is that an inside joke with Bob? We literally have no idea what that means. <laughs> what? The ding is a reference to Bob plugging uh, from Potty Break. Okay. We don't it's, listen to podcasts. <laughs> yeah. So, so that was, um, okay, that makes sense. I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't listen to Potty Break. Even my own episode, I didn't listen to. You have time now. You can go back and listen to the old episodes. Yeah, I actually could. Um, Bye -bye. All right. So uh, I want to know. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Colin? Uh, I want to know what we don't, don't encourage him. If you say, Hey, what's up, Colin? You will have the Colin show for the rest. He is barely hanging on right now. Being able to sit back here without, without talking for the rest of however long you're planning to broadcast. So just, we're just going to let him know, Colin, you can sit there. Everybody's happy to see you. But if you start interrupting, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. The all right. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, Okay, so this is this was this was my idea for misunderstanding what it was that the peaches wanted me to do, and that's what this video is about. Nobody's anybody... going to share a twelve-minute video. You just need to create an event, and and okay. like you did last time. All have right, so share the event. All right, so we're, I'm going to create an event for the for next week's show, and ask you guys to share it. But if anybody has uh, if anybody has a suggestion or a comment. Um, this, <laughs> this, you asked for this. This is what this you wanted. Kind of is. I sort of missed this. I used to be in the thick of that, you know, not that many weeks ago. I was in the middle of all that chaos. Uh, and really now running I'm back watching. and forth in front of me and a baby shark. And you're with me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but he has that hat on. And I got a. I got a polo, actually four polos from Marcy yesterday while her mom was in the bathroom. And I kid you not, it was German or Russian or something. And she, but she was so serious. She had the phone this close to her. She was like, <laughs> do we do new magic? Who got that? Who got that? Oh, my God. Yeah, maybe that's what we should do for the next podcast or the next uh, show. <laughs> just let, Just turn your kids loose. Uh, okay. Well, then I guess we don't need to, we, we don't need to keep this up. Um, I, how does my, how does the audio sound to you? I'm on my phone, so it's none, none of this is good. You probably can't hear me. I don't hear you real great. I was using my laptop before, which was better. I had a lot of trouble with the live stream on Facebook. Uh, it was better on my phone, but on my laptop, it was almost unwatchable. And I don't know if it's because it kept trying to log me in as you on the fan page and yeah. so it was freaking it out or if other people had problems but on youtube i could see it the, the stream was clear and uh, no issues when i was watching on youtube so yep I <laughs> i'm trying to point okay there it is uh very clear andy's my new favorite person today he's been much more encouraging than you have ever been just in the three minutes that he's been on here, he has raised my spirits more than you ever have. Um, Sherry wants to know if Peaches is my wife. No. Uh. <laughs> that's, a, that's a common thing that we get asked. And so uh, she's, she's not. Peaches is my eldest daughter. And all of those children running around are my grandkids. That's my redheaded grandson in the background there. Uh Wearing a the, the Chippendale dancer, yeah. 
Uh, okay. okay. All right. I'm going to, I got to go because uh, I'm actually going to be on Darren's radio show today. Get, Darren Strebelo is going to call me here in a few minutes and I'm going to do an episode or a segment for his radio show. So there. That won't be live. You'll actually be able to. I'll be able to edit. Right. I'll, I'll be able to be who I am and then they'll cut all of that out and, uh, and keep the, the usable part. We'll probably talk for 15 minutes and he'll be able to use two of it on his radio show. Right. And then he'll, he'll bring me in. How many children will be fighting over a baby shark book in the background? Um, probably none. Um, here we go. Oh, Sarah said that she gave up watching this on her laptop and moved to her phone. Yep. That was my on, issue too. On YouTube, on YouTube was zero issues. Okay. Yep. That's helpful. I had problem on Facebook, but YouTube worked okay. Interesting. Well, I think that the, the people who run the streaming service that I use sent me an email and said that, uh, that they were having trouble on Wednesday. There's just been a tons and tons of people doing live stream because, you know, right. there's this virus. Have you heard of the coronavirus? We can talk about it later. Catch me up. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Colin has made my day. Background. I was literally, I was messaging with Luke this morning about different stuff. He wants me to download a book he thinks I'd like. And I was like, I don't have time for this stuff. And literally, then Colin walks by in his little regalia. And I took a picture and said, do you see what happens when I try to, to take five minutes when I'm not paying attention to what the kids are doing for five minutes? And he was, Luke was like, what do you mean, cute things? And I said, yeah, what is it? He looks like a Chippendale. That's literally what, That's I, what said. I said. Yeah, it's it's he has no sleeves. He's wearing that that tuxedo with no sleeves. Right. Um, and then Silas stole his hat. He was wearing the hat part too. That Silas commandeered that. So. Yeah. All right. Well, Shuffle wants to know about the struggles in the ghettos of Kokomo. Well, we can update, you know, with the podcast. Whenever we do a podcast, we can update about uh, the restrictions being lifted. The caution tape in the makeup aisle is coming down. Is it? Yeah. I yeah. didn't know that. When did they That's decide that? The people have spoken. It was yesterday. That's actually very encouraging. Yeah. I, I cannot imagine the blowback they must have gotten. Yeah. People were pretty upset. Well, I drove past one of our councilmen. I, I passed <laughs> I drove past him and saw him coming and I didn't recognize him until I was already past him, but I almost pulled over and said, Hey, come here. Let's talk for just a second. I just want to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, okay. Uh, all right. I'll, I'll put up a thing for those of you, for you, uh, you people who are watching, uh, I, I will put a link up to the coming episode of starving comics quarantine show that'll be wednesday six o'clock central time seven o'clock eastern time or god's time as i call it <laughs> it'll literally be 18 minutes of me parenting my children if i wasn't just letting go wait a minute where's cammy where's cammy she's locked herself in the closet doing her school right now because i would that way i would would imagine oh no we've gotten uh totally shattered my image of the brandy family well that's not the brandy family that's the mckinney family <laughs> yeah. she's not brandy anymore that's not that's not my dna and my chromosomes she married into that hi there's there's cammy look how good she's being i know I was, she's I was asking because I figured that if Cammy was available, that Colin and Cammy could do one of their spontaneous dance routines, uh, and that's how we could that's how we could wind up the show. But if Colin Colin can dance us out, are you gonna do a dance? Will you dance? Oh, he's dancing right now. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, there we go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> God, God. 
And then he just <laughs> ducked behind the couch. I think that was his exit. Colin is the shy one. Yeah. Uh, uh, you remember, the, Colin has always been a dancer. When he was, how old was he when we were going through the the uh, island? We were getting off the cruise ship. How old the was he? The comedy cruise was 2014. He was like, 18 months old. He was 18 months old. He's barely old enough to get on the cruise ship. And so yeah. the family was walking through one of the ports, one of the, uh, we were off the ship going through some port in Mexico. I think it was Cozumel or someplace like that. And they had this band playing kind of off to the side, just, just out in the street. And Colin stopped and just started dancing like, like that. Like he just <laughs> did, but he's 18 months old and all by, you know, just in his own world. He wasn't doing it to entertain anybody. He was just moved by the spirit of the music and he started dancing and he drew a crowd. Like people gathered around him and he was down. Remember, he was down on the ground, like rolling around on his back and everything. Uh, don't, don't do anything if you're not going to do it full steam. Full speed ahead. Well, what what impressed me though was that he didn't even realize that he was performing. He was just right. just in the zone. Just, just get it down. So, all right, love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. See you Wednesday. <laughs>